How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. This is an RPG Maker IV tutorial on Galve's Weapon Profession plugin. This is a cool plugin and basically what it lets you do is add an extra bonus critical hit chance and an extra accuracy bonus to your cert to whatever weapons that you have, whatever weapon types you have, um, depending on how many times you've attacked or swung with that weapon. Um, so you can specify its maximum level from anywhere from 1 to, a, you know, 10,000 or whatever you want it to be. Uh, you get to specify how much experience that you get from swinging. You get to specify how much experience it takes to level up. You get to specify how much critical hit chance and how much accuracy you get from, uh, from each swing. So it's really, really uh, customizable. And we'll get into the, the plugin in a second. Um, basically, whoop, basically you can go to your status screen and it works with Yanfly's status core. Um, there's a toggle in the parameters that lets you select if you're using the default status menu or if you're using Yanfly's status menu. So it'll work with both, which is pretty cool. Um, and basically the way that I've set it up is that there's 100 max levels and it takes 10 experience to, you know, you have to swing your sword 10 times because you get one experience from a miss or a hit and 10 times you level up a point. And then every time you level, it takes five points on top of that. So the first level would be 10, and then it would take 15, and then 20 for the third, and then uh, 25 and 30 and so forth in increments of five, uh, adding to the maximum for the next level. And I've made it so that everything, uh, your critical hit chance and your accuracy is going to get increased by 0.2 per level. Uh, with a max level of 100, that's gonna give you 20% extra accuracy and 20% extra critical hit chance, which is pretty significant. An extra one out of five that you land a critical hit is pretty cool. Um, so one thing I did notice though, um, the proficiency bonus that you get from your weapon doesn't show up on your attributes if you're using Yanfly Status Engine Core. So if I were to level up the skill, uh, like Greatsword that the Dark Knight's using, to 100, I should have 106% hit rate. And I should have 27% uh, critical hit rate. And it doesn't show it. But I've tested it and it works. Uh, I guarantee it works. It actually adds to the bonus, but it doesn't add to your natural uh, natural attributes. It adds to like a, a hidden modifier that's on top of it. Um, and I've tested this by making the critical hit chance go to 100, and every hit is a critical hit. Every, sing every single time it's a critical hit. Um, so I know it works for sure. Um, so yeah, uh, what I did to compensate for this bonus is I actually reduced the hit rate of all of the uh, of the classes by 10%. So normally the Dark Knight would have a 96% accuracy, you know, uh, hit rate, which is accuracy. Um, but I reduced all of my classes' uh, accuracy by 10%, and then uh, implemented the proficiency bonus to give them a total bonus of plus 20% more. So starting out, they're 10% less than than normal. But when they get to level 50, they're back to par. And then they have potential growth if they use the same weapon type. They can go to level 100 and get 10% more on top of that for accuracy. And then for critical hit chance, all I did was reduce it like 1%. Let me see what is my critical hit chance. Uh, actually, Dark Knight has a good critical hit rate. Um, so all the classes in my game have uh, different. See, they're between 3 to 9% to critical hit rate base. But they're all going to get a massive critical hit rate bonus uh, if you level up your skill to 100. In this game, it's going to give you 20% extra bonus. So uh, Dark Knight, in this case, would have 27% 20 percent, uh, percent, uh, twenty seven percent chance to critical hit. That's a little better than 1 out of 4. So that's pretty cool. Um, I definitely recommend this plugin for you guys. Let's take a look at this plugin in the menu here. So I'll put a link in the description below where you can get this plugin. It's uh, Galv's Weapon Proficient, or Galv's Weapon uh, Proficiency. Uh, that's what I think it's called, Proficiency. Um, so here's the attributes that we were talking about. It's got a, a hit bonus per point. So this is your max value. And I said I'm going to do 100 points. That's the default. Um, the default right here, I think it's 1 or 2. I've changed this to 5 so that you don't level up too fast. It actually takes a little bit of work. Uh, excuse me. Um, so the hit rate, I think it's 1% default, which is to me is just way too much. It's like you'll never even miss at all. So I reduced all the classes accuracy by 10% and I dropped this one to a 0 0.20. So that's five points will give you the extra percent accuracy. And then the critical hit bonus, I think it was like a 
0.5 or 0.1. I think it was 0.1 by default, but I've set that to 0.2. So basically, the biggest bonus you're going to get from this plugin is the critical uh, critical hit bonus, which is awesome. Um, so basically, there you're going to get. 20%, like I said, 20% accuracy, 20% critical hit chance at this. But you can change it up. You can put whatever you want here. You can change the maximum level. Uh, you can make it so that you level up fast, and you can just uh, get a, uh, a small amount per level, like 0 0.1 or something, and there's like 500 levels, and, and really add a gigantic bonus. Or you could you could make it so that there's only 10 levels, and it takes like 100 swings to level up. So basically, you can say, uh, when you swing your weapon, how much experience are you going to get for that weapon? And it's not like character experience. It's like a hidden experience value that's stored. Uh, and then also, you want that to be the same as if you swing and miss. It could be the, the same amount if you swing and miss, or you can give like say two or three if you hit and then one if you miss or vice versa uh, it's really customizable to let you do what you want and then you can specify how much experience you need for the first level and then how much experience is adding on to that past uh, amount each level so this is saying to start off to get from zero to one you take ten experience which would be ten swings and then uh, level two you're gonna have to add five to that ten so it's gonna be to get to, from level uh, one to two you're gonna have to do fifteen more 15 more experience, which is 15 hits or misses. And then the next one, to get from 2 to 3, takes 20 swings. So I think you guys understand how that works. If you were to change this to 10, then it would be like level 10 swings, and then 20 swings, and then 30 swings. So you can really change it up to be however you want. This is a, another cool thing. You could pick whatever icons you want uh, to show. You saw that I had like custom icons on all of the weapons. And this is the parameter that you're going to change in order to do that. Do I have this somewhere? Uh, I put this somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Gal's Weapon Profession. So, basically, in my game, I looked at uh, all of the weapon types that I have, and I wrote the, the number down, the name of the type, and then I picked an icon uh, for all of those weapons. And if you're not sure how to, you might want to make a list like this, so when you're putting in the parameters, you can just look at reference. You can put it in a text file or whatever. It doesn't have to be sublime. Um, so, basically, in this parameter, you don't put a space or anything, you just put the first weapon, which will be unarmed, so the first one will, will not show, like, so, I've got 77 and then 2081, because 2081 is the icon I want for the first weapon in my types, let's look at my ty uh, the types real quick. So if we go to the database and we jump over to types, we can see that all of our weapon types are right here, so this is actually the second uh, parameter in that uh, the second uh, entry into that parameter of the plugin, right, because zero is going to be uh, unarmed. So you have to think of what do you want the unarmed to look like. I just kept it at the default 77, which looks like a glove. Uh, oh, how do you figure out what icon number you want? You just go to your items or skills or weapons or armors, and then you can look through all of your icons right here. And in the bottom left corner, it'll show you, okay, if you want it to look like, well, it's probably going to be a weapon, right? So let's say you want to use this long sword. So you're going to say, oh, 636, that's going to be the icon that I want to put in there for this. Now, remember, it's going to be different for everybody depending on your icon set.png. So you'll have to reference your icon set.png. If you put 636, in there it's probably not going to look like that it's going to look like whatever entry number 636 is in your uh, png uh, your icon set that png file so yeah um, so in the database, you set up your types to, to be uh, how you want. And keep in mind, if, uh, if you're going to install this plugin and you've got like an extra maximum right here, it's, uh, it's going to show that as an actual weapon. So you need to change your maximum to be just the maximum number of actual things, of uh, weapon types that you have. Because you don't want to have like blank spaces in your status screen and it looks kind of funny. It's like people are going to be like, well, what's this for? You know, is there a hidden weapon? You could leave it in there if you want to like fool them. But I would just kind of do like that. Change maximum to, to equal the same amount of actual weapon types that you have in your game so you've got all of those uh, and so this is going to be the second entry right so dagger is going to be the second you know so we have 77 for zero and then dagger so i'm going to have a total of 16 different entries in that parameter of the plugin let's jump back into the plugin galves weapon proficiencies right here weapon type icon so you can see this is unarmed and then this is for the dagger and then the sword and so forth and so on and you just put a comma and then you put the number of the icon that you want it to be and it'll show that just like that so let's move on to the next thing so uh, this is an animation like every time you use it in battle I could probably show, show it to you really quickly when you when you level up let's just jump way down here okay boom boom so every time you use it, you're gonna you're gonna get the level up, right? Uh, if you if you get that certain amount of experience, um, so it's for me, it's gonna take uh, 10, 10 experience, and you get one experience for a swing and a miss. So I'm gonna actually have to hit ten times. We'll just do that really quick. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and jump to the next. And then you'll notice that's uh, five, six, seven, eight. So watch when I swing this one. You're gonna see an icon uh, uh, animation play on this character. Boom, boom. 
You see that little animation that played at the end? That's the custom animation that I made, but you can put whatever animation you want in there. Um, so I think that's pretty cool because you can specify what that is in the parameters. So um, you can you can make a very long animation to make it look like a you know big flash and everything. Weapon proficiency. Uh, so I've set it to 527, but you can I think it's like four or something by default. But you can set this to whatever animation you want. And once again, real easy to figure out what animation that you uh, that you, the number that you want is going to be relative to this animation. So if you want it to be this one, boom, then you put in 183. You know, so it's pretty simple. And then if I scroll down, I've got this one. So we see, boom, that's the animation that's going to happen every time that uh, you level up a weapon skill. Alrighty, so the next thing is what do you want the unarmed, you know, the skill zero, the first thing, what do you want that to be named? Uh, you can change the name of it, hand to hand or, or fist weapon or weaponless or unarmed, whatever you wanted to call it, right? Uh, the next thing is what is the, this is the, the category in your status menu, right? What do you want that to say? Do you want it to say weapon proficiency? Do you want it to see, say like uh, bonus skills or whatever you want this proficiency by default? So I just left it proficiency. I think that's an accurate description of what it actually is. Uh, the next thing is, uh, I don't know why he, he didn't set this to one parameter and, and just say uh, uh, skill menu choice and then it would be like tr uh, true uh, one or two or true or false. Uh, but I, it's, it's like if you want to use the default, you set this to true and then you have to set this one to false. And vice versa. If you want to use Yan flies, you set this one to false and this one to true. This could have been accomplished in one parameter, but that doesn't matter, right? It's just it's it's just fine the way it is. Maybe the way that it's coded, it needed to be that way. So that that doesn't even matter. But yeah, I really like this plugin. I'm actually going to include it in Dungeons and Driftwood. Hopefully, you guys like this quick little tutorial. Hopefully, you found it entertaining and helpful. And maybe you guys found a new tutorial you might want to add to your project. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Um, yeah, if you have any special requests, put them in the comments below. I do special requests. I answer them most of the time. Uh, and if you come up with something creative, uh, I'll definitely check it out and give you a shout out for it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please support me on Patreon if you want one-on-one -on -one support. I do that as well. You can check out driftwoodgaming.com for other stuff. Mumbo jumbo, blah, blah, blah. You guys are great. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.